there's so many. Okay, now we're in business. He's actually so Whoa. cute, but no. Hi guys, I'm Sarah and this is Paul. Last time, we were being blown away in Ponce Inlet. Today, we're headed to Blue Springs State Park to spot some manatees and we're staying overnight at their campground. Oh yeah. And if you haven't done so yet, subscribe so you don't miss any of our fun adventures. We're gonna have to make it a little bit longer because we're going hiking and camping tomorrow and the day after. Hi baby. What do you think about that beamer? I think it's like a, a badge of honor. It's coming off uh. and it, more glue is going on. <laughs> Got one more leg. Let's do it, Shoe. Let's do it. What are we going for days? Yeah, it's gonna be cold, so we want a lot of food to keep us comfortable. It's gonna be good. Looks like we're going for days. <laughs> well, we get pretty hungry when we're hiking. But we had just one more stop to make. I found it. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff. What do you think? Is there gonna be a line? I don't know. Last time we came here, we were turned away. Oh! It's open! Yes! Hello! Hi! Hi! Uh, we're camping. Ooh! Today's manatee count it says 218 manatees. Oh my gosh! We're gonna see a ton of manatees. Oh my gosh! How about yeah. that one? I think you picked a winner. Yep. Okay, right now it's 45 degrees and it's going to be in the 30s. We barely even got out of the car yet. She's already opening the marshmallows. I got it open. You know you want one. Here you go. Just one. Happy. Gonna see if we can get our first look at a manatee. I don't see any manatees right now, but in the summertime, this is where you can come swim. It's a big area they kind of block off for you. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting to see one so close. Wow. Oh my gosh, so cool. It is a very cold day. If you remember last time, it was a nice, beautiful day, <laughs> 75 degrees. Now it's 45 degrees and that's the warmest. Apparently there's a whole lot of manatees because it's winter time and they migrate here. But today we're not just exploring, we're actually camping overnight. Yay! So we are gonna camp in the low 30s. And that is, uh, that's a little bit crazy. <laughs> it's like we're bringing the Smoky Mountains back here to Florida. I know. Uh. Well, we can't check into our campsite until uh, early afternoon. So we are going to go enjoy around the park and some things that we are definitely going to do are check out the manatees, go check out the boil. There's even a hike that we're going to go on. Um, but all the water activities are actually closed during winter, so it's more of like a summer activity. And in the winter, it's a perfect time to go camping. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's see if we can see some manatees. Kind of look for the big white rock looking things in the water. <laughs> Busy day today. There's a lot of people manatee hunting. Well, like we said, it's a weekday, guys. You have to get here early if you yeah. come to the spring. Can you imagine if this was Saturday? This would be really, really crazy. Well, we got turned away on a Saturday. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So to start the exploration right off, we're going to head straight to the boil. This is the main boil that in the past we've had amazing trips here where we've uh, scuba dived and just even just snorkeled. It's beautiful. It is gorgeous. It's really powerful too. You can swim upstream to the boil, which is kind of tiring. That's why you need the flippers. Right now we're taking the boardwalk all the way to the end. And it takes about 10 minutes and it's yeah. a really nice boardwalk all the way to the end. People, lots yeah, of people. Lots of people. Even on weekdays, they always reach capacity. So you have to get here early to see the manatees. When you come here in times where you can swim in the water, this is the perfect place. You can actually take the boardwalk up to another entrance into the water and put your float in here. You can go tubing or just go swimming. How many would you say are over there right now? 20, 30. They're just out of sight though right now. <laughs> I love their nickname, the sea cows. <laughs> so vegetarian. And, and gentle giants are often what they're called. Yeah. They really have to be protected because people who go boating and stuff and 
um, they're often getting hurt. So yeah. we've got to protect the manatees. Oh my gosh, look how many are over here. This is the boil. There are a hundred million gallons of water that are pushed out of this hole in the earth every single day. That's crazy. That is a lot of water. But it comes from the Floridan aquifer. That's amazing how much water actually flows through here. And it stays a static 72 degrees. So that means this is more like a manatee hot tub. This is where they're all hanging out. There's a ton of them. Uh, maybe like 20 of them. They're so nice to watch. 18, you counted? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Did you see his nose? He blew out of his nose. Hmm. The boil is right there. And many years ago, when we used to go scuba diving, We've actually dove down to the bottom where there's caves. It's about 55 feet to the bottom. And actually what's kind of funny, you get to the bottom and there's a sign down there with a phone number. <laughs> but there's actually been people that have died here because they went cave diving alone. And then they got into the cave, went into the system and got lost and then ran out of air. So if you're gonna dive here, you definitely have to dive with a buddy. God, that was so awesome. It was really incredible. Oh, While man. there were a lot of people, we waited and uh, yeah, we it was had a lot almost better, yeah. the whole place to ourselves. Yeah. Too bad you can't go tubing or even kayaking during winter months. We were kind of hoping to go kayaking, but we're gonna have to go find somewhere else to do that. Well, that was a bust a little bit. There was really nothing vegan in there, except they sell chips. <laughs> hey, there was um, coffee. So and that's, coffee. That's always a good thing. So if Paul needs a boost later. <laughs> no, we have that in the camping yes. gear. Our friend, the manatee. Hey, you know what that is? What? That's the maximum size of a raft that you can oh, bring. I see, I see. That's good to know. No more than six feet by six feet. <laughs> I doubt you can go in it right now, but it's actually like a historical house. A movie in 1970 made this place very popular and made it kind of uh, more well known about manatees and why we need to protect them. So Florida actually bought this park and it, that's when it became Blue Springs State Park. So in the summertime, this is a very popular spot, but it might even be more popular right now because of all of the manatees. But it is a beautiful park oh. and this is normally all green. Just a big lawn to spread out on, play some frisbee. Can we sit right here and have lunch? <laughs> uh, that sounds really good. All right, let's see what I brought. Oh my gosh, we're going on a hike. I was so excited. <laughs> Didn't know where this trail took off from exactly, but right where we were having lunch, we looked across the parking lot and there was the trailhead. So <laughs> perfect timing, perfect placement. It's a little bit chilly, but I think that's perfect for hiking. And we're gonna have to watch out for snakes, I think. It said venomous and non-venomous, all kinds of snakes. Yeah, rattlesnakes mm. and codmouths, and we'll see. I'm not even wearing my hiking boots that I went ahead and fixed. <laughs> But since it was right here, I was planning on going back to the car. But anyway, that's so, okay. So this is a 3.6 mile trail and it's not a loop. It's actually an out and back. And there are two other trails that spur off of this and then they return to the main trail. But we were probably gonna stick to the main trail and see how far we can go. I don't think we're gonna make the whole thing because I kind of want to get back to camp and start setting up. Yeah. But actually, it feels nice and warmer in here because there's not as much of a breeze. What's the possibility to see a bear? <laughs> Look how thick that is. That's a vine. In the parking lot, we saw a ProMaster, a 
van lifer. It's something we like, uh, what well, we like spot them all the time. We're like, ooh, there's and a like, van oh, lifer. Check out that. It's a Ford Transit. Oh, there's a ProMaster. Oh, there's a Sprinter <laughs> van. Uh, it's kind of a little bit of a dream of ours. Because we love coming to the state park so much. If we had a van, I think we could just park there all the time. That's why it's called the Pine Trail. Look at these pines. But there's nothing out here from what I can see. Looks like the beach. It could be like sun tanning out here. <laughs> I think that's the main trail to the right. Yep, definitely some white-tailed deer on this trail. Are we lost? Uh, I think we are. So we've been hiking this for a good five hours now. <laughs> <laughs> Only about, what? Um, uh, 20 um, minutes? Yeah, 20 minutes, something like that. Half hour, maybe. And it does seem like you're just hiking way out in the open. So if you do come to Blue Springs, and you want to hike this, you definitely want to hike this in the winter time because it would definitely be hot in summer. So far, this is not really my favorite thing to do in Blue Springs. It's just kind of flat and hot. I mean, it would be hot. It's really <laughs> open. Anyway, it is way better to go swimming at Blue Springs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We might turn around shortly. The type of hiking I think I like in Florida is when you're winding your way through the forest. Yes. Yeah. Or even, you know, canoeing, winding your way through the forest. That's pretty cool. The only thing that's keeping us going right now is that every time there's like a corner up ahead, like, I want to know what's, what's around what the bend. <laughs> oh, is that a bear? Yeah. This is what's getting us excited. What's around that the corner? Bend. The suspense is killing us. Yeah, that's it. I think we've come too far. Back that way. <laughs> yes, we got to set up the tent. Come on. There's sand. Gross. <laughs> oh, little guy, look at him. Hi, buddy. Hi. Why aren't you sweet? Bummer, it looks closed, but this is where you would go uh, for your kayaking. And it's part of Blue Springs Park, but it's actually on the St. John's River. $27 for the tandem one hour. That's not a bad rental. So that way when they open back up, you know. But I think you can rent the whole day for something like $45. Wait, good news for everyone, check it out. It's not closed due to the pandemic. It's only closed because it's very windy today. So you're in luck. If you wanna to come to Blue Springs, you can go kayaking. You can also take boat cruises here. It looks like a pontoon boat. There are definitely alligators in here. We learned the secret mating call of the manatee. What's that? Moo! <laughs> it's a sea cow. Oh my gosh, you're on a roll. It's so special to see this many manatees all in one place. Oh wow, that one looks like it has scars on it. It does. Aww. We're just taking a breather and then we are heading to camp. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Yeah, it's usually pretty nice spots at Blue Springs. Ooh. Home sweet home. Nice. Oh, this is actually a first. Whoa. So we got a hookup here and you know what we're doing? Wait, we don't tell him. It's a surprise. We'll see. I've brought something I'm so excited about because it's cold. A little bit of a luxury for her. It's car camping after all. Yeah, glamping. <laughs> what? I thought you were going for a marshmallow stick. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go get her a marshmallow stick. Is that what you were doing? But I might take a little bit of a detour. Yeah, you look break. you look guilty, Paul. <laughs> hey, go away. Oh, that looks like a good one. Oh, I think I found my marshmallow stick. I smell a campfire. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the best smell in the world. Well, we're on our search for the bathhouse, they call it. The bathhouse. Um, that's yeah. what it says on the map. <laughs> the privy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a lot better than bathroom. You know, the one nice thing I like about this campground is the sites are actually spread out pretty well. And it's very wooded. 
So you don't really even see your neighbors when you're in your campsite. It's a small campground, so it's one of those where I think there's only 50 or so spots. It's not very big, so it does fill up really quickly, which is why we're going midweek. And it looks like it was pretty full already. See, I think we passed the bathroom. The bathhouse. The bathhouse. I should have brought the map. I think we're hopelessly lost again. <laughs> Let's just stay on the road. I'm sure okay. we'll run into it at some point. <laughs> <laughs> it's always funny when we're vlogging and we get all hyper and everything and then we realize somebody's sitting there looking at us. <laughs> <laughs> and we get a little shy. Oh wait, look, look. I think we found it. Well, we should take it. Alright, to the eel show. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys remember the eel show back from Juniper Springs. Uh-oh. Are we lost? That way. Shoot, I don't know. <laughs> I don't should have brought way. the map. Where is oh, this? That is the bathroom. Oh, hi, right, we found the bathroom. I have more sand in my shoe. <laughs> this is why you gotta have hiking shoes. This looks too fancy to be a bathroom. And maybe that's why it's a bathhouse. Exactly. And now we have the fun part. We have a couple hours of daylight left. So let's go. Okay, now we're in business. Now my job is to help make the inside as comfortable as possible. So I've got a few items here, but we start with, come on in, come on in. Got myself a butt pad, very important. These little egg crates are so, so helpful. The very first step is actually our sleeping pads. These things are amazing once you can get it out. <laughs> How do we get this thing up? <laughs> there we go. Beep. Um, <laughs> uh. <laughs> I wonder, we might hear that all night. Then we have our really awesome um, sleeping bags. And these we splurged on. We got kind of the heavier ones, not as much of a lightweight backpacking one, just because we wanted to be really comfy and really warm. That train is loud. Actually, it's kind of nice and soothing. My dear. Thank you. Oh yes. These are extra pillows. You can't go wrong with pillows, especially with car camping. Well guys, this is the first time we're gonna try something like this. A pee bottle for overnight because there is nothing worse than getting up in the middle of the night when it's this cold to go to the bathroom. I think we'll make a mess. I don't know. We'll let you know in the morning. <laughs> Where's my inflatable pillow? <laughs> and lastly, I'm gonna set up our pillows. These are amazing. See how big this pillow is gonna be? And how small it fit? I always knew she was full of hot air. <sighs> You're a jokester. <laughs> I just can't help myself today. It's my birthday, I can do whatever I want. Technically, tomorrow is his birthday. And I'm gonna be comfortable all night. But there is one secret that we're gonna try out tonight. And now I'm on campfire duty. I could actually cheat and just use kindling from the store, but that's more fun to make my own. As soon as the sun goes down, we're gonna light that sucker up and have ourselves a nice little fire. I found the big mama marshmallow stick. Look at that. It's like, I could be roasting marshmallows like five feet away. Is that how big the fire's gonna be? It's gonna be a bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, I don't know about you, but I'm running out of steam. Yeah. I think it's time for a sundowner. Sundowner. As you can tell, the sun's going down pretty quick. So we have another channel and we make our own fermented drinks. Fermented cranberry soda or cranberry beer. And fermented cider. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Whoa. So we bought a gallon of store-bought apple juice and we added something called a ginger bug. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, some good cider. 
We have cranberry soda. Ooh. Whoa. Thank and you, it... Michaela. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do something to keep warm around here. Yeah. Okay, Sarah said she had some kind of a surprise, and this I would consider a glamping item. So let's go see what she's doing. Wake up, sleepy one. Hey guys. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling pretty good from the little bit of our fermented drink that I'm having. And I had to tell you about what our big top secret is. Wait, what is that? Do what? I see a wire there? Maybe. Wait, wait a minute. Is that something electrical? <laughs> Maybe. Well, we're car camping, and if you remember from the Smokies, I was frozen all night and didn't sleep very well. So this time I thought, don't I have a heated blanket somewhere in the house? So sure enough, I took it back out and I put it on high right now. Oh my gosh, I'm warming up my hands and I'm warming up for sure. I think I'm gonna sleep really well. I might have to do this every time I car camp in the winter. <laughs> Why not? The crack of can't fire with popping No phones, just half glasses Living on past caption Steve making us laugh with his laugh <laughs> All the girls wearing all the guys jackets We live in that Friday What's for dinner? So we got some ramen noodles. What we'd like to do is add a bunch of spices. Put a bunch of garlic, onion flakes. Look at these. These are dehydrated mushrooms that we made ourselves. I think it's starting to get a little warmer than your heating blanket. I don't know about that. <laughs> creepy when it gets dark. I'm going to the bathroom by myself because Paul's cooking, keeping over the fire. We can do this. That's why I brought you with me. I guess I should stop being a wimp. There's a little kid riding a bicycle down here, so I guess it can't be too bad. <laughs> now to find where I enter in the woods. Where is it? I found it. Oh, well, I'm glad you're back. Yes. So, I got dinner all ready. There you mm, go. Yum. Tomorrow we wake up and it's your birthday. Look, I added a little something. Party time, yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> These are the best, by the way. <laughs> Vegan marshmallows. You know, oh. I think... Uh, you already caught it on fire? Yeah. Mine's like golden brown. Oh, a raccoon. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's licking his lips. He's actually so oh. cute, but no. Oh my god, he's so cute though. <laughs> <laughs> he is cute, but we better grab our food. I think we better put our food away immediately. Yeah. I better put this stuff away. Yeah. Oh, he's coming down. Is he really? Yeah. I don't know if you guys really noticed, but in the Smokies, we got almost attacked by a whole band of like five or six raccoons. <laughs> but we couldn't get it on video. We were like so freaked out and we thought it might be a bear when it first approached. And anyway, didn't really catch it. So now you just saw, man, they're active. I think they followed us. One, two, three, four. We we're just making one more last stop to the restroom. And we just ran into five or more raccoons. <laughs> Welcome to our humble abode. <laughs> we finally made it in the tent. It's like 9 p.m. Much later than we thought we'd make it to. Yeah, we went on a little bit of a walk. We saw a bunch of raccoons. We saw a rabbit. We saw a possum. We found a closer bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
and now we're all <laughs> nice and toasty in our tent thanks to our heated elect blanket electric blanket <laughs> it makes a difference i'm definitely keeping warm but it's supposed to be 35 degrees overnight fahrenheit yeah so that's really cold for us yeah i think we'd be freezing otherwise so we hope you guys have enjoyed this look into Blue Springs State Park with all the manatees. Oh, it was so awesome. Don't forget to subscribe. We always appreciate that. And, well, you know what to do. We will see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Good night. Next time, it's Paul's birthday. And we're celebrating at another popular spring in Central Florida. Beep! What? Wow, they weren't kidding. It really is a bad house. <laughs> Do we have time to go shopping before we go to the spring? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, more shoe boo it is.